Hi, I'm Agent Mead, and today I'm going to show you how to manage your home office cables. Not every home office setup is the same, but depending on what you're using, I've got some great tips for keeping those cables neat and organized. It's not just about the appearance of your desk, although a less cluttered space might help you be more productive. Keeping your cables neat can maintain more airflow around your devices and make it easier to swap out items quickly. Here's what I have today. Self-gripping straps, nylon cable ties, often called zip ties, cable tie mounts, flush cutters, a monitor mount, a wall cable cover, mesh wire looms, cable clips, a surge protector cover, a cable channel, and a pencil for marking measurements. Again, that's just what I have today, but before you head to the store, watch this video to figure out what will work best for you. All right, before we get started, just a few things to keep in mind. First, don't fold your cables or pinch them tightly, as that could damage the wiring inside. Second, if you want to use cable ties to bundle your cables, remember not to pull them too tight, because that can also cause damage. Finally, to help avoid interference, try not to bundle power cords together with other types of cables. All right, let's begin. The first step to decluttering your home office is to minimize how many cords you really need. Keyboards, mice, headphones, and other computer accessories have great wireless alternatives to keep your desk looking neat. So if you can, consider swapping out wired devices for wireless. It can make a big difference. One way you can easily free up more space on your desk is to use a monitor mount instead of a stand. Many mounts these days come with their own cable management solutions, meaning they've already done the wire planning for you. Now there are options for mounting to a wall, or even better, directly to your desk. That way, if you have a desk that raises and lowers, the monitor remains intact. Oh, and speaking of desks that adjust, make sure you leave plenty of slack in your cables so they're not too tight when you raise or lower your desk. One of the best ways to do this is to raise the desk to its maximum height and organize your cables from there. All right, back to it. If you have a bunch of cables going to the same place, bundle them together where they meet, like this. If you'll be unplugging or moving these cords from time to time, it's best to use something like self-gripping straps instead of cable ties, so they're easy to put on and take off. And make sure to leave a lot of slack for accessories that you'll be moving around often, like a mouse or wired headphones. For bundles that won't be moving often, cable tie anchors can help keep them in place. These anchors usually have an adhesive pad on the back, so you can stick them in a place that's out of sight, like behind your desk. You can also use cable covers or cable channels. Not only can you attach these to a wall or to furniture, these will completely cover the cords and help protect them. Depending on what you buy, some can even be painted to match the wall so it blends in seamlessly. They come in different sizes, so make sure you check the dimensions and get one that's right for you. I touched on this before, but as you're securing your cables, remember not to fold them or bend them into sharp curves. This can break or damage the wiring inside. You can, however, use service loops, like this. You can put these directly behind a piece of equipment, or if you don't want extra cable looped up at the end, you can make a few service loops along the length of the cable. You might think that whenever you have the option, it's better to use shorter cables instead of having all this excess, but the extra length can be really handy if your setup ever changes. If you have a modern desk, chances are it might be designed to help you hide cords. But even if your desk isn't designed with this in mind, you can always hide extra service loops behind it. A lot of people use cable ties for bundling cables together, and that can be a really easy solution, especially if you already have a few lying around. But take my advice and use flush cutters to cut them. Unfortunately, scissors tend to leave short, sharp edges that can be a safety issue, like this one. Surge protectors are incredibly important to prolong the life of your electronics. And one way to minimize cord clutter is to secure your surge protector to your desk, either at the back or underneath. That way your surge protector is off the ground and out of sight. If you'd rather keep your surge protector on the ground, a surge protector cover can help hide not only the protector, but also the power cords that are plugged into it. 
Oh, and one more thing. You can use a mesh wire loom to bundle power cords together, so it just looks like one solid piece. And voila! No more unsightly cord mess. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.